This looks like an actual farm. It looks cute on the app. This Verbo ad has many Newfoundlanders shaking their heads. It uses Eyes the Buys, a popular traditional Newfoundland folk song. He first saw the ad play during the Grammys, then again during the Super Bowl. It's upsetting. Uh, it brings on feelings of being disrespected. Uh, it brings on a sense of Newfoundland and Labrador being subpar. It's personal for Deborah Borden, a tourism operator in Twillingate, one of the towns named in the song. She's the chair of the province's Tourism Industry Association, a sector that rakes in more than a billion a year and employs 20,000 people in the province. I just couldn't believe it, but I just felt like it showed it in such a poor light. I mean, rural Newfoundland, we're quaint, we're warm, we're hospitable, we're all those things. She calls the ad wrong and wants to see it taken down. We have four and four and a half star and five star combinations located in Twillingate. Verbo says the ad is a dig at their competitors, not people in Newfoundland. Still, the province's tourism minister, Steve Crocker, is calling for the ad to be removed, saying our province offers so much more to Verbo's customers and says it's not an accurate representation of our province, our culture or our people. The department is fighting back with a tourism ad of its own, showcasing what it calls the real Newfoundland and Labrador, using the same song with a very different message. Meanwhile, Saunders says he won't be booking a vacation with Verbo anytime soon. Uh, truthfully, I've never used Verbo before. I certainly will never at this point. The company responded to a senator from this province, David Wells, telling him it's taking steps to remove the ad. The company also said it's apologized to the tourism minister and anyone else it's made upset. Heather Gillis, CBC News, St. John's.